Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Judge with Back and Body Pain Relief in Springfield, New Jersey, your neighborhood chiropractor. So today we're going to be going over how to set up your home office. Uh, we've been getting a lot of patients sending us questions and asking us about uh, the best way to set it up. They've been coming in complaining of low back pain. Um, so the first thing I want to tell you is, uh, unfortunately as comfortable as a sofa is or your bed, those are probably the two worst places you can be. Uh, the reason is when you're sitting down you end up flexing your spine or sitting in a, in a hunch position. That's going to put a lot of stress on your low back. As a result, you put more stress on the muscles, the discs, and some of the structures which can cause us the types of pain that will bring patients into our clinic. So what we're going to do here is we have Kunjin, our very helpful uh, associate here, who's going to show us the proper way to be setting up. So most people, um, when they have their home desks or their kitchen tables, first thing you want to look at is how they're sitting. So when we're sitting, we want to have a nice upright posture, so we're just going to sit up for me. We want our table to be, or our chair, sorry, to be at a, at a level where we're not reaching. The feet should both be flat on the floor. There should be approximately a 90 degree angle here at the hip and the knee. <clears throat> That's going to give him a nice sitting upright posture. He's not slouched uh, forward or leaning backwards. Next thing we're going to look at is the laptop itself. So a lot of people look down. It's going to lead to a lot of neck tightness as well, some neck pain. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that the laptop itself is at a level where it's even with the, your eye level. Now most people don't have laptop desks, so what we do have are lots of textbooks. So what we can do is anything that's going to help to raise the level of the laptop we're going to put underneath. So if you put the first one there, it's still a little bit low, we'd like for it to be almost at the level where Kunjin is able to look straight without having to look down. So if you put one more underneath there, and you'll be able to work with less neck strain. Now the other thing that we are very supportive of here is uh, uh, mouse pads and, and mice. When you use these touch pads on the laptops, it can put a bit more strain on the wrists, typically because you'll be flexed forward, um, arching your hand like that. It's gonna put a lot of stress and close down some of the spaces in the actual wrist, and that can lead to um, more pain over time. So, Best bet is to use a mouse, especially with something that's going to have to provide a bit of support underneath the wrist, so you're not actually um, having your forearm and your wrist angle, and it's more of a straight and neutral position. So, thank you guys very much for listening, and we hope you found this information helpful, and good luck setting up your at-home office. Hello everyone, uh, I'm Dr. Judd with Back and Body Pain Relief in Springfield, New Jersey. Uh, so what we're here for is uh, part two of our at-home uh, work setup. So. The biggest thing is when we're doing our jobs, uh, typing keyboards, we tend to sit down for longer periods of time, 45 minutes, hour, two, three hours, whatever it may be. Um, as a result of this, we're hunched over. Um, Pinch is going to show us, but when you're sitting at a laptop, you tend to roll your shoulders forward, your, your mid-back is going to slouch and arch. Um, so what we want to do is we're going to show you guys a couple stretches and exercises today that are going to help to relieve some of that pain, some of that stress, and help to provide some postural relief is what we call it. So the first stretch we're going to focus on today is for the muscles called the levator scap. Now that muscle runs from the base of the skull, it runs down the, the, the back of the spine and attaches into the top of the shoulder blade. So for us to stretch this muscle, what we're going to do is you're going to tilt your head to the right, you're going to tuck your head down, Kunjin's going to place his hand on the back, and he's going to pull his head down. As he does that, it's going to stretch this muscle right here. To make this stretch a bit more intense, Kunjin can sit on his hand right now. And I'm just going to turn him a bit more this way. And as he does this, he's going to make that stretch just a little bit more intense. Now, the important thing to notice is that when Kunjin's doing the stretch, that his nose is almost going straight into the armpit. You want to angle your head sideways, and that's going to really isolate that muscle over there. Alright, go back to neutral. Now the next stretch we're going to do is for the trapezius, which is another muscle which supports and provides a lot of um, <clears throat> uh, provides a lot of tension in our neck whenever we're uh, staring at screens for a while. Now for that one, it's similar to the one we just did. Instead of turning your head and looking down, all you're going to do is turn, lean your head to the side like you're picking up a cell phone. And when you do that, you can do the same thing by sitting on the opposite hand and with your right hand. You're going to slowly pull yourself, increasing that stretch on the side. And here it is from the front. Alright. <clears throat> now, for the next stretch, what we're going to do is we're going to work on one, it's called the suboccipitals. These are the group of small muscles on the back of the skull, 
and they tend to be responsible for a lot of the headaches and tension headaches that patients can experience. Now, this is a bit more of a tricky one, so you have to pay attention. When we stretch it, the biggest thing is to tuck our chin in. Now, most patients hate this. What you want to do is imagine giving yourself as many triple or double chins as you possibly can. So we do, Kun's going to tuck his chin in here just like that. He's going to place both hands on the back of his head and he's going to pull his head down. Now when he does that, he'll feel the stretch straight from here all the way down the spine. And you're going to hold all three of these stretches for approximately 10 to 12 seconds for three sets. All right. Now, the next stretch we're going to do is called posture relief exercises. So, after sitting down for a couple hours, even if it's 20, 30 minutes, all I want you to do is stand up. And when you stand up, the first one we're going to do is called a relief. So, you have to take your hands to the side, almost like an L. See how your arms look down and out to the side? And you're just going to take a big breath and lean back. And as you do that, you're going to open up your chest, make yourself nice and proud, pulling your arms back just like that. And then you're going to go back to the neutral position and you're going to repeat it again. So we're going to do 10 reps of this and it shouldn't take more than 45 seconds or so. Now, after this, the last, next one we're going to do, the last one, are going to be extensions. When you're sitting over, you tend, tend, tend to be all hunched over. So what we're going to focus on is getting some extension in the low back. So we all have two dimples on our low back. Kunj is placing his hand over those two dimples, or the two bony parts, showing you right here. Best way to find that is if you roll your shirt up right here, you can find the top of your hip, you come right across, and it's right there on both sides. So he's going to place his hands over top of those spots, and gently and slowly lean back. And now he's going to stand back up again. Notice how he's not bouncing, and he's just going straight to the one spot, and then returning back to normal. All right. So thank you guys for paying attention. Uh, these are the posture relief exercises that we've uh, presented and we hope you guys enjoy them.